Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. It's 5 a.m. I've just gotten back from a long trip. I don't know if I'm even going to be remotely coherent, but I want to talk about games, so let's do this. Uh, this week I want to talk about the Viceroy. The Viceroy is clearly someone's product of passion. Uh, it is a very strange game. When you look at it, it looks like a 4X game, but it's distinctly not. And that's why I want to talk about this game. I want to actually talk about the high concept of this game, which is something that I very rarely do, but this was something very similar to something I pitched long ago, and I really like the idea behind it, so we're going to talk big ideas for once. In the Viceroy, you play as a intergalactic Viceroy. You are sent to districts. Imagine Space Empire, all this stuff, just like you'd think in uh, any 4X space game. But instead of playing the Supreme Commander guy, you're playing the Regional Governor, who's sent in to fix problems. Uh, so you may get sent in to a district, a small number of systems that has just recently suffered a complete economic or industrial collapse, right? You might get sent into a newly discovered area whose uh, wormhole or portal has been shut down for the last thousand years and so they've been totally cut off from all external civilization and you have to bring them back up into the empire, right? Back uh, not only up to the level of technology and all that, but also culturally reintegrate them. You might end up at a, uh, at a colony that's just been taken over in a war and so is filled with rebels and dissenting political factions, or you might end up at a colony where they've decided they're going to worship a blood cult. So each time you're given a scenario where the goal is not necessarily to expand, you can't do it, uh, or to have vast military conquests, because there's, even though this looks like a 4X game, there's only a very small amount of uh, military within the game, and as far as uh, combat goes, it's almost entirely out of the player's control. You have a little bit of input, but most of the time you'll find yourself just pressing auto-resolve once you understand how it works. The game it suffers from a complete lack of tutorial, and because a game like this is also so balanced on understanding the underlying math and uh, on small numerical changes, it'll take you a while to get in it, right? Think uh, think paradox strategy games, right? That's sort of the level of, not quite, but that's about the level of commitment that you're going to have to put in to play this. It does come with a manual, it does, the developer did try and put mouse overs on everything and give you a big, like, in-game encyclopedia, but it's just not enough without that one stage tutorial walking you through and explaining some of the fundamentals. Um, but if you mouse over everything, you can play it, and it's an exciting concept because it's effectively an economic sim for an economic and cultural sim, but largely an economic sim for a vast space empire, right? And this is one of those examples that I think serve to show us that in a lot of genres, there's theming that we as an industry have argued is not viable for that genre, right? Economic sims are only for this small group who only cares about uh, modern city management or whatever, right? And so we better not do a space one. I think this demonstrates that it that for all of these genres, when you think around other themes, they're compelling ways to set the same group of mechanics and the same general gameplay within a within other overarching themes and bring new life and bring new interesting problems and questions, questions that aren't available in some of our standard themes to these genres, right? We broaden the genre by experimenting with theming outside of what we, uh, what we normally do. And so I think the Viceroy is a good example. I'm exhausted, so I'm not gonna keep this much longer, but if you're interested in a game that looks like a 4X game, but is not a 4X game, a game that's about economic management, about civil management, and yet is set as your galactic or imperial governor, um, you should check out the Viceroy. It's tough to get into, there's a lot you're going to have to do in terms of mouse and over stuff, trying to figure out exactly how all the pieces fit together, and I'm not even saying that it's 
it's the perfect example of this. I think you could do a lot more with this. This is clearly a small team effort. Um, might even be one person, I don't know. Uh, but if that concept sounds interesting to you, it's something that you won't find many other places. Uh, so with that, yeah, this week, James recommends The Viceroy. See you all next week. Thank you.